Okay, we got a vertical upflow system. Here's my furnace. So first step, we gotta cut off our side of a return. And here's our filter box that will be connecting to the side. Let's go. Okay, we got our wool cut out. Now what we gotta do is connect our filter rack in. Okay, I got my filter rack in. It's all nice and sealed all the way around. Now we gotta get our coil on. But first, before we put our coil on, we get our seamers. Gotta make sure these are up. Just like that. All the way around. Do that all the way around so that the coil sits right on there. Yeah. Okay, we got our coil on, we got it taped in and secured. She ain't going nowhere. So now we got a return drop. This is a 25 by 12. We got to cut the side. Same measurement as this, as this side of the filter rack. Let's go. Okay, we got our return drop in. Got it all nice and sealed all the way around. Now, we're gonna put on our plenum, plenum box, and then to the return. Let's go. Okay, we got our plenum up. Here's our plenum. Gotta leave this open for my connections. But there you go. So now, next, got to build up our drop up and all the way through going up there let's go okay so here's the top of my return drop that i just made it's a little bit you'll see how it goes on let's go okay here's my return here's that top piece i was talking about Okay, it's time to run my drain. So this, this is the upflow system. These come normally pre-built as upflow. So we don't need to switch the drain around. We're just gonna leave it like that. So we got the coil. And we're gonna come through this way, down. And then the T for this drain to connect into and then down to the floor. And we got that drain right there. Okay, so before we run this down, we gotta make sure we knock out this pre, this one right here. Right there, just like that, and then in the screw space, we gotta grab this 90. So this thing will go in there, just like that, and pokes out. Let's go. So we gotta make sure we get out these clamps. Here's the clamps that we need to use for the drain. Here's the gas gasket and then the wires. So now that we got this 90 rubber piece in for the drain, we gotta make sure this clamp is pushed all the way back. So that we make sure that this rubber piece is clamped on right so that we don't have any leakage. So let's go. go as you can see the clamp is all the way to the back we're good in here now so this is the outside right 
here. Okay, we got this plastic piece that needs to go into here. And then we got this clamp to clamp this piece onto this rubber piece, just like that. Okay, we got our drain done. T to tie into this drain right here. It goes down into the main drain. Now, let's get the flues done. So we first we gotta knock these out. And then we're gonna put on these. Right there. Let's go. Okay, once you get these on, you can tell the difference. This is the exhaust side. That will let you go all the way through to get to this. And then this is the fresh air side where it just stops you right there. So for that side, we get this piece on there. This rubber piece right on there. And we gotta get these thingies, clamps, whatever you call them on here. Just like that. So once we get our PVC into this part, we tighten these down. And then this one ties all the way down to here. And we got a clamp here as well to tighten it. We're done with our flutes. We are 100% complete in here. It's our flues. That is it.